what is microsporogenesis that means development of microspore from the microsporangium or microspore mother cell once again i am i am repeating development of microspore from microsporangium or microspore mother cell is known as microsporogenesis okay where the microsporangium is present oh coming to that microsporangium is present in the stamen this stamen is also known as microsporophyll stamen is also known as microsporophyll it consists of a filament anther and connective stamen consists this is anther and this is filament connective connects anther and filament and each anther consists two anther lobes if the anther contain two lobes it is called dithecus dithecus anther if the anther have only one lobe it is called monothecus anther monothecus anther next each anther lobe contain two pollen sacs each anther lobe this is one anther lobe this anther lobe contain two pollen sacs this is anther lobe and two pollen sacs are present in dithecus anther total two lobes are present so that four microsporangia are present in monothecus anther two microsporangia and in dithecus anther four microsporangia are present okay next transfer section of anther if we take section what parts are seen in the anther in the transfer section of anther shows following parts they are number 1 anther wall and second one is sporogenous tissue in that first one anther wall anther wall is again differentiated into epidermis endothelium middle layers and tapetum okay are you understand in the transfer section of anther mainly two parts are present they are anther wall and sporogenous tissue anther wall is again differentiated into epidermis endodermis middle layers and tapetum okay i will discuss one by one now in the first one anther wall out no, first outermost layer is epidermis epidermis is the outermost layer of anther wall and it protects inner layers this is epidermis this one is epidermis epidermis is the outermost layer that protects inner layers next second layer is endothelium endothelium is present below the epidermis here you can also observe in the diagram below the epidermis endothelium is present in this radially elongated cells are present radially elongated cells are present and fibrous thickenings are present in these cells in endothelial cells these cells are hygroscopic in nature and helps in dehiscence are you understand endothelium is present below the epidermis and radially elongated cells are present in these cells thickening are present they help in they helps in dehiscence dehiscence of anther wall okay next layer middle layer usually 1 2 3 1 2 3 middle layers are found below the endothelium you can also observe here these are middle layers 1 2 3 layers of middle layers present below the endothelium and they become crushed at the time of meiotic division in the pollen in the pollen mother cell meiotic division occurs at that time these cells are crushed these cells are completely crushed that means they are degenerated okay next layer tapetum the cells of innermost parietal layer possess dense cytoplasm so these layers the innermost layer the most layer of the 
antava or tapetum you can also observe uh, in the diagram this is tapetum tapetal cells this tapetal cells are innermost layer and they are nutritive tissue they provide food to the developing microspores and microsporangium based on the behavior the tapetum may be glandular or amoeboid tapetum what is glandular tapetum and what is amoeboid tapetum in glandular tapetum the cells are completely degenerated these are the cells these cells completely degenerated and nuclear nuclear degeneration also appeared that means first cells cell walls are degenerated for after that nucleus is also disappear and vacuoles are formed uh, in the cytoplasm right in the cytoplasm vacuoles are formed and this cytoplasm provides food to the developing microspores or pol pollen grains okay this is first type glandular uh, tapetum otherwise it is also known as secretory tapetum secretory tapetum these two names are present to the uh, tapetum next one amoeboid tapetum what is amoeboid tapetum in amoeboid tapetum this is tapetum in the tapetal cells first cell wall is degenerated this is cell wall this cell wall is degenerated so that protoplast is released from the cells all the protoplast fuse together to form a dense protoplast or dense substance in that substance number of nuclei are present number of nuclei are present and this substance entered into the sporangial sac and that provides food to the developing spores and microsporangium okay next second layer that is sporogenous tissue second part of the transfer section of anther that is sporogenous tissue the sporogenous tissue is present inner to the tapetal cells this is tapetum this is tapetum inner to the tapetal cells sporogenous tissue is present this sporogenous tissue undergoes number of divisions this tissue undergoes number of divisions and form spore mother cells or microspore mother cells m m c microspore mother cells these microspore mother cells undergoes meiotic division meiotic division resulting in the formation of pollen tetrad pollen tetrad they are haploid in condition when these pollen grains separated from the pollen tetrad then they are called pollen grains pollen grains are you understand when the microspores are separated from the pollen tetrad they are called pollen grains this is about transfer section of anther in the next video i will explain the structure of pollen grain okay if you like my video subscribe my channel and click on bell icon and share to all your friends uh, if you want any content comment in the comment box okay thank you for watching my video